Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload. Also, hit the thumbs up if you like the content and as you always do, and I greatly appreciate it, continue to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, so we have something really, really juicy for you guys today. And let me just throw this disclaimer out there because in this video, there is something in there that was um, quite troubling to me and I'm going to try to delete it, but I may not be able to just because of where it's placed in the video. Um, so let me just throw this um, statement out there. I do not condone any type of bullying um, with make any reference to anybody's mental health um, that may be stated in the video. So I'm going to repeat it. I do not condone bullying or any type with reference to some material that may be stated in this video. Again, with regards to where the information is placed, I'm going to try to delete it, but it's really hard considering where I received the information from. Um, so just throwing it out there. Okay. So let's um, kind of get into the video. So I have a video here, guys, that I'm going to um, show you with regards to um, some statements that Diamond is making with regards to Bambi. Um, so we all know that, you know, Bambi's um, how do I put it? Her, um, how do I, what words do I want to use? People on the internet has pretty much considered Bambi to be an untruthful person. Um, of course, this is all alleged. I mean, even her own mother-in-law, which we know Mama D can be a little bit messy, but, um, has questioned some things about Bambi and just, you know, who she is as a person. So Diamond has thrown out some rather interesting accusations with regards to Bambi and some of the things that she was possibly doing in the marriage um, and some of the things that Diamond is stating that she saw but said that she did not go back and tell Scrappy because at that time her and Scrappy was pretty much into it. She wasn't messing with him. He wasn't messing with her. So she pretty much stated that I wasn't going to be the one to go back and tell him anything because I wasn't effing with him. Um, so let's bring up this video, guys, and then we will come back um, for commentary. And I'm going to say it again because somebody weird will be in the comments. I do not condone bullying, um, nor do I condone the statement reference that is referencing to someone's mental health, okay? However, with the video, um, sometimes it's hard to take things out depending on where it's placed. And also let me guys also make you aware of, I may just not be able to take it out because I have minimal equipment. I actually just started posting on YouTube. So um, let me just throw that out there and do not be weird in my comments because I will make sure you're not able to comment again. Now let's watch this video. Roof Chris, where's Roof Chris? What hotel is that? The hotel, the embassy. embassy. It's in the I seen her twice at, at the time. Me and Scrap was op. That was my op. So I'm like, shit. I ain't gonna tell him. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So I'm just trying to figure out. You've been outside, baby, because I saw a red martini. Mm. Well, every time I see him, they always run. So I, I'm trying to figure out why you running. It's a diamond skin she want the truth to come out. Yes, the bitch was on suicide watch. So she got that night serum. What else you got? What's what's all this skin glow? What are you bring with? Love that? it. You see how it's going? What are you, what are you provide with the skin? So I have I have a day cream, I have a night cream, I have a serum, a black soap, and I also have um sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And the serum too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But apparently, ain't nobody checking diamond. Period. And that's on this on that. <laughs> it's just sarcasm for me. 
Yes, he was engaged to Erica, Erica Dixon. After us, he was en engaged to her as well. Thank you. He said, she said, your skin looks so beautiful. Thank you. Take the filter off. Is the filter on? No, I ain't, ain't no, no, hey, look, no, that's she ain't no filter. Don't... You see these edges looking like this? Bitch, ain't no filter on. I did it on purpose. Look, that's her. Just girl. so y'all can see this it's... shit. Fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Keep talking. Because every time y'all post me or talk about me, I get booked. Or another order comes in. So whatever you feel, sweetie. And I'm on a spiritual journey as well. I've been on a spiritual journey. That's why I'm a vegan. I pray, I go to church, and that's why I ain't been saying nothing. But like I said, because so much was cut out that I thought was just going to flow, you gotta pop, pop that I figured shit. I, had, I had to add my two cents. And then, of course, you get a chance to see what the other people saying. And I didn't have confessions this season, which kind of made me a little upset because I could really talk about more shit in the confessions. So as viewers that might not follow me or not, not might not be on this page, they're going to look at the TV and think what they saying is law you feel what i'm saying exactly. so that's what and then and then remember 11 years ago when love and hip-hop came up and i said i wasn't gonna do it i didn't even really speak on it because i wasn't ready i'm older now you're not gonna play with me <laughs> you're not gonna play with me i got time if i don't have time i will make time so i mean i think i cover everything Okay, guys, so I'm going to say this repeatedly because I know, again, somebody weird will be in the comments. Um, with regards to the um, suicide statement, I have no idea what she's talking about or if she was having a conversation with someone in the comments. Um, so again, because I do not care to elaborate on that, um, because that is a very sensitive topic, I'm going to skip right over it and not even address it because I have no idea what she's talking about, nor do I intend to elaborate on anything that is that sensitive sensitive concerning anyone. It is not a joke, nor do I condone it, nor do I know who she's talking about. I don't believe she's talking about Bambi because I haven't heard anything about that. So let's just leave that statement right where she left it alone. Um, so let's get into the video here. So did y'all hear what I heard or am I hearing things? Because she said that she saw Bambi twice at Ruth Chris, but she said that that was, she saw, she saw her two times, but it was at a hotel there or something like that. Is that what y'all heard? Um, so she mentioned that, um, She'd never mentioned it to Scrappy because her and Scrappy was into it. Now, if you guys recall, Mama D and Scrappy said that there was a lot of things that they found out about Bambi that they did not know before. And I'm just wondering, is this one of those things that they're referring to Um because if you guys recall, if you go back and look at the previews or even if you follow them on social media, they alluded to, you know, that there's a lot of stuff about Bambi that's going to come out. So what is up with her at a hotel with somebody? The Embassy Hotel, if I heard correctly, what is that all about? Um, the other lady said she saw her and she had been outside at Red Martini. I mean... I don't think that it even matters because, I mean, we're all outside, but the hotel one, that was a little questionable. And I'm sure, you know, Diamond would have shared that now with Scrappy, now that her and Scrappy is in a good place. So are we hearing the truth of what really happened in their marriage or are we just hearing what Bambi is saying with regards to Scrappy cheating on her with Diamond? Um, it is amazing that um, Bambi actually stated on the episode last week that, I'm sorry, the episode this week that Scrappy had called Diamond to testify. Why would Scrappy call Diamond to testify? What information would Diamond have um, against Bambi that would kind of make her look a little silly? See, we got to look at both sides of the coin. Um, some information is coming out about Bambi that we did not know. Um, so if you guys didn't hear that, it's the very beginning of the video. She speaks about a restaurant and then it being a hotel um, that was somewhat attached. And I believe they said it was the Embassy Hotel. What is that all about? A married lady at a hotel? 
who was she with? Hmm. Um, she also stated each time that she saw Bambi that Bambi would run. And if you guys notice, have you guys saw them film together at all? Hmm, we have not. Um, so is that Bambi basically stating she does not want to film with Diamond? If you guys recall, she did that with Erica. If you don't believe me, go to my YouTube channel and I have a video up Um just go to my YouTube channel. I think it's titled um, Bambi Blocks um, Erica from Filming or something to that nature. Um, um, of course, you know, Diamond was kind of rattling on about a bunch of different stuff. She spoke about Erica Dixon. Uh, we know that Scrappy was pretty much engaged to Erica Dixon. Uh, she talked about her spiritual journey and basically what Diamond stated. And I totally get this part. Diamond, we have not really heard Diamond speak much on anything. So she just basically stated that she's speaking up and she's speaking out. She will not be silenced. Um, she did not like the part that she was not able to get confessionals, uh, which a little bit irritated her. So, you know, she's like, you know, I'm going to speak my piece because, hey, I'm not getting a confessional. So I'm going to let people know what's really going on. Um, she also... Um, indicated that, I don't know if you guys recall, but Diamond was actually supposed to be on the show when it very first aired, um, when it very first came out, but I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway, she ended up being on the show, but in a different manner. So let me know what y'all think in the comments, honey, and what is up with this hotel that old um, Diamond is a legend, that old Bambi been in the old hotel with somebody, child. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.